so we skipped over the border today in the Quebec that means a change of time zones battled some stiff winds all day stopped in for a break and warm my feet I don't think there's no way around it uh, has nothing to do with these boots these are the best boots I've ever worn hands down they're rock solid uh, for this type of work they got the grip they got the stability and they got the comfort they're not the problem I mean when you're paddling in weather this cold Ah, you're going to get cold feet. Your feet are stationary. You're sitting in the canoe all day. That's the problem, right? So my little breaks to get out and warm up help. I had a couple where I just got out and walked around, and others I had to get a fire going. I didn't know it was going to be minus 16, 17 with the wind chill. Uh, base temperature of minus 7 it was this morning. I didn't expect that in late September, so... It's okay. It's supposed to warm up again in a couple days. If I would have went with a bigger winter boot, that would have been clunkier on portages. And uh, lining up rivers, it wouldn't have worked out. These are the only option. And uh, it's not the boot's fault. <clears throat> not at all. That's awesome. So we crossed Labrador. We've done it. We're in Quebec now, and uh, it's the same old woods, right? Nothing changed from Labrador to Quebec. So happy to be over the border, making our way. As I've said, it goes from summer to winter in Labrador and northern Quebec up there. There's no fall and uh, we're dealing with it. But just keep working away and enjoy the experience because it's been an amazing one. Lots of ups and downs physically and mentally. But I look forward very much to the remainder of it. And so does Saku, who's asleep in the tent right now behind me. It's nice to have the fire this close to the tent. you got to be careful. But it means you can sit in your tent, sit in your shelter, and gain some heat. i got some rocks laid out in front. That'll keep things from spreading and burning us down. Hopefully. Anyways, that's it for me for today. All right, Zach, your time to shine, bud. Bit of a nook shook coming right up for you. water keep you toasty it's too warm hold on it'll burn the loops off you by add some cold water a little more all right bud go to town go on Saku is remaining rations there. About four days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Much like me. Well, we had an accident. Uh, 
Yeah, we're stretching out the rations now. That's okay though. That'll only make you appreciate it more when you get it. Especially when you get home. Man, have you ever tasted good food? Try spending a couple months in the bush or more. Even a week. And go home. Food tastes like it never has before. It's like a euphoric experience with every bite. Don't worry, you'll get it. Peace fell out of his bowl. Time for my oatmeal. So for me, that's my breakfast left. <clears throat> for the next little while, some of mom's homemade granola. Thanks mom. It's the best. And we got some plain oatmeal and a flavored oatmeal baggie I used to measure out my oatmeal. Now, I was mixing this in the kettle, but I found it was just a bit of a pain to clean the kettle out every time if I wanted to have coffee or tea right after oatmeal. So, this way, the cup is, the cup is easy to clean. Much easier. Easier to get your hand in there. A couple of swipes, she's clean. The kettle has little crevices and stuff. It's a racket. Anyhow, not much granola goes in because there's not much there. And if I put all oatmeal, it's just plain and uh, tastes pretty bland, as you can imagine. So. I don't know, what can I afford here for the next little while? Sack, a little handful. A little handful for some flavor, there's some cinnamon in there. And, uh, I don't want to drop any in the ground, do we? And then I'm going to fill this pouch with oatmeal. Smoke in the eye, smoke in the eye. You're supposed to say I hate white rabbit. When you say I hate white rabbit, smoke goes the other way. I don't know if it's true or not. Yeah, that's getting low too, so we got a pouch of oatmeal. Get in there. Okay. Can't lose any flakes. And now, I'm gonna add the boiling water. Take a spoon. You all know how to make oatmeal, don't you? Give it a good stir. Don't need more water than that, Sacco. What are you looking at? You already had your brekkie. Cup of oats for breakfast. Last but not least, oil. Gotta add the oil. Need those extra calories, extra virgin olive oil. Spoonful of that or two. There you have it.
I hate White Rabbit. Uh, <sighs> Wind switch. See, yesterday it was coming from the north. Now we got a south. Right in the face. I'm going to add another little drop of hot water. And we got a cup of oatmeal. I could eat around 10 cups of that right now. Self-control is everything out here. It's everything. Mm. I had two different types of oil. This one has a bit of a fruity taste to it. Anyone know what that is? I don't know what kind of oil it is, but it has a different taste. It's good though. It's growing on me. I hated it at first. I could just clean the barrel. The last four suppers I got there. This oatmeal. The cliff bars I have left, which I don't know what I got left. Two here. I got two cliff bars left here. And I got another six, I think, for the next few days. I could eat it all right now. It's starving. Working hard, right? It's hard to carry enough food to match the work output. But, again, that's what you deal with on a trip like this. Unless you want to break your back on portages and stuff. So this is where we stand. September 25th. Two thousand and eighteen, day sixty one.